Seguido. BC's finance minister served up hot lunches to school kids in Langford, a sign that the upcoming provincial budget will focus on families. Tomorrow I'll talk about how we're strengthening public health care throughout the province, how we're moving forward on a plan to continue delivering the housing that people need, how we'll keep people safe and healthy in their communities, and how our government will continue to help people with the costs they face every day. But the province will be facing leaner times, so no new shoes for Budget Day, a tradition in previous years. I didn't need new shoes, so I didn't buy any. As David Eby hit his 100 days mark as Premier, he continued his spending spree to use up a one-time $5.7 billion surplus before the end of March. It's money from higher personal and corporate income tax during a faster-than-expected economic recovery. Next year's budget is expected to take a hit from a slowing economy. Even though we have a surplus this year, we believe that we are, that we will, you know, we're thinking that, that we will probably have some deficits in the coming years. Still, there's speculation the B.C. government will announce a $1 billion plan to tackle mental health and addictions. The province has been grappling with some of the highest numbers of drug toxicity deaths in the country. The opposition B.C. Liberals say the province needs more than just announcements, but results. He says public safety needs to be more of a priority. There's effectively no, you know, uh, measures in place to deal with those that are constant repeat offenders, sometimes violent offenders. And so they've got to get a handle on that so the business isn't having to spend all their time and money, uh, you know, fixing broken glass, cleaning up uh, graffiti. The B.C. government has been focused on refreshing its housing strategy. So we'll be looking for how much money will be earmarked for that. The finance minister also delivered a few more hints, saying that rural communities will not be forgotten in this budget and that the people of Surrey, a fast-growing urban centre, will be happy with it. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.